6.1 Nutty Jokes I got these jokes from that friend of mum's who lives in Norwich. Her name is Roxy. It's a bit of a funny name, I know. Roxy said, give me a topic, Joe, any topic, and I'll give you a joke about it. We were eating peanuts at the time because she likes snacks. So I said, peanuts. And this is what she came up with. Q. What do you call a peanut in a spacesuit? A. An astronaut. Q. Did you hear the joke about the peanut butter? A. I'm not telling you. You might spread it. Q. What did the peanut say to the elephant? A. Nothing. Peanuts can't talk. I asked Mum when we were going to see Roxy again. She just shrugged and didn't answer. So I asked her again. She said she wasn't sure if she wanted to see her again because she still couldn't forgive her for taking her father away from her mother. But then she sighed and said, I suppose it takes two to tango. I think she meant it wasn't just Roxy's fault that her dad left her mum. It was her dad's fault too. Then mum said, and after all, Roxy did look after my father through his MS. I could see tears in mum's eyes then and I felt sorry for her. To make her feel better, I got the nuts out. She loves nuts. But then she got cross with herself because some of the nuts were so hard and she wasn't strong enough to make the nutcrackers work. Neither was I. So I secretly got a hammer. Unfortunately, I forgot to move the nuts off the big plate they were on. That was messy, I can tell you. Mum went ballistic. She asked me who in their right mind would think of cracking a nut on top of a china plate. I said, someone who comes from China? Thinking that might make her smile but she stayed mad, so I tried again. Someone who's nuts? And she turned round so she wasn't facing me. But I saw her face in the mirror, and she was actually smiling. Phew.